Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Ultima 7. All right, we're back on uh, New Magentia. I still have not found the Black Rock that I had, uh, but there's uh, something that I'm going to check after this. Thank you for the this. information in the notebook, Avatar. It was most useful. <laughs> Crap. So Alignor's dead, and it's basically all our fault. Victim. Well, let's uh, take a look at... Oh, yep. <clears throat> yeah, we can see uh, Alignor being killed. Uh, they even brought the uh, uh, one of the Fellowship um, light stands. Um, can't really see it, but uh, there's a hook hand right there. Uh, hook standing there. There's uh, the, the gargoyle friend of his, Elizabeth and Abraham. They are killing Alignor. Yep. This is basically our fault, too. Hmm. Well, that is most decidedly unfortunate. Now, I really am not sure where the what I did with the, uh, um, the Black Rock. Maybe I put it in a ship hold somewhere. I'll go check our ship's hold. Or, well, I think I took our ship's hold, but... Did I ever look in here? I must have since the door is open. Alright, well, at least now we don't have to return uh, Alignor's notebook. Whoops, wrong thing. Although, hack mover is still on, so let's turn that off. Uh, I did check um, Rudium's uh, house, and he does not have... Oops. Uh, the Black Rock anymore. I definitely took all of that. Um, so, there is still... Uh, there are still some places that we can go to find it, perhaps. Um, let's head over here first. Maybe I put it in one of these. No. Right, let's check the ship's holds over here. Nope. Okay, so it's not in our ship's hold. I didn't... I... in that... That is true, I did not take our ship's hold on that. Um, so I am not sure exactly where that those black rock pieces are. Um, I do know that there is some place that we can get some. I just need to go look to see where that is. Um, let's see, it's one of the mines. Uh... I think it's Covetous. Let's, uh... Let's head up to Covetous and, uh, take a look. Um... I think that's gonna be... Right about here. Minoc Mine. Let's just check to see if there are any... If there's any black rock in any of these containers. As long as I'm here. Nope, none there. All right. Uh, nope. I'm really annoyed that I don't know what happened to. Um, oh, hey. We have not been in there. Well, that. Oops. That actually uh, kind of works out. I guess we will hop in there. Um. Not expecting to find anything. Is that a corpse? No, that's debris. Well, hey, there's something that we we could use. Um, anyone with magic armor who does not? Yep, there you go. We will take that magic gorget. Um, well, that's just a body. 
That is a body. There's a couple more bodies here. Uh, nothing much, though. Oh, wow. That is... There's a lot of little stuff. Um, let's go ahead and pick all this stuff up. Let's get rid of this garbage. Alright, so let's see. 100, 100. I did a little bit of training, too. So that's why I have some coins sitting around. Actually, let's just go ahead and try... No, oh, nope, that's not going to work. Alright. Oops, don't want to do that. Lots of little piles to annoy you. Ah, oh, thanks, game. It's so kind. It's so kind of you. This appears to be the original entrance to uh, the Dungeon Covetous. And lastly, so we got a total of 41 coins out of that. Not too bad. Oh wow, you can actually get in that way. Kind of surprised. I wouldn't have expected that. Well, it's all there is there. Alright, well, that's okay. Um, I believe we want to go to the, the... There's a secret passage that I think will lead us to where the uh, the black rock is um, I just want to check to see if there's any black rock sitting around out here I'm really curious what is causing the explosion sounds You eat when I say we eat. You eat when we get an earthquake. I have clearly already looked in that. Um, I think this is another dead end, but let's check just to see if there is any... Black rock, there is no black rock. I just want some black rock. Is that so wrong? Alright, that's not going to give me black rock. Oh, it looks like I'm the one who's hungry now. I eat when I say I eat! Now shut up, Avatar! Alright, somewhere around here. There we go. Secret passage down here. There's, what is that green thing? Broken condition. Never mind. I don't care then. All right, now I just got to use this to get some black rock. Oh, there we go. Two pieces of black rock. And two more pieces of black rock. Let's just go ahead and open that up. And... Alright, people are hungry. We can eat. Sheesh. First of all, let me get my black rock. Which looks like odd little chicken duck statue thingies. Alright, fine. I gotta take it this way. Alright. Alright, I'll pull out your uh, bag of food. We need some food. People are whining, including me. It's okay, because I'm the one who's whining. Uh, you're not hungry. Shimino, you're hungry. Here, have some fish. I know how much you love fish. And we'll have an apple as well. 
and you can wash it down with some carrots. Oh, you don't want the carrots. Well, fine, be that way. Alright, Dupre, you can have uh, some mutton. Jonna, do we have... we do have some ham. There you go, have some ham. Sentry! Uh, here, have some mutton. Ceramid! Um, here, have some bread. Where are you? You're right there. And some carrots. And some more bread. Ah, there you go. A bread... a, a carrot sandwich. Mmm, carrot sand... you know what? Screw this. Let's just teleport. Alright. We're back here. Of course, the game would have to give me the uh, um, annoying Scar Bray music for this part. There we go. And now I believe you do need to use an orange potion the first time that you come in here and she's asleep. Uh, but after that, Awaken will work. Uh, no, I didn't. Uh, I didn't mean to sleep on this hard rock. Man, her back must killing her after that. 200 years on that thing? Oh, I feel so much better. The pain is ebbing. Now we may converse much more easily. Alright. Name. Job. I'm a practicing mage. Once I get my business going again, I should be able to sell spells and reagents. After all, I have been asleep for 200 years. Uh, Blackrock. The Blackrock is working. I no longer feel the painful either. Uh, either. I feel much better now. The damage to ethereal waves are not striking my win my mind, but now we must destroy what is causing this problem. Penumbra thinks a moment. I feel that the damaged e ethereal waves are coming from a source very near here. I suspect there is something in a dungeon on these islands that is creating the havoc. Try Dungeon Deceit. I have a se strong sense that thy goal is there. She closes her eyes a moment. In my mind's eye, I see a large object shaped like a tetrahedron. Why are they all shaped like tetrahedrons? Why can't it be shaped like a dodecahedron? I am beginning to understand what it, what this is. Tetrahedron? Yes, that is the, the shape of the thing I have seen in my mind's eye. It appears to be some type of magic generator which damages the ethereal flow. Penumbra thinks a moment. This generator is producing dangerous ethereal waves. Thou must find the ethereal ring and wear it to break the generator's defense. Now, where is that ring? Penumbra consults some books and cross-references them with a map. I believe that the ethereal ring was last in the possession of King Draxanusum of the Gargoyles. Once thou hast found the ring, thou must bring it back to me. I must perform my, an enchantment upon it so that it may work for thee. Um, well, okay. Let's ask about Draxanusum. Thou shalt find him on the island of Turfin. Ask him about the ring. How would you know that? Haven't you been asleep? Long, uh, longer than uh, uh, he, the gargoyles have been on Turfin. I don't know. Farewell, Almadreda, and good luck to thee. All right, now I guess we will uh, teleport back and get our carpet. I am really wondering where. Uh, uh, guys, guys. Fine. Come on. Okay, that's seven of eight. All right, there we go. Okay, and now away we go. Oh, great! Now it's gonna be nighttime. There we go. That works. <laughs> All right, so we need to get down there, which is pretty much straight this way. That's good. Whee! Let's uh, fly over all, all of the uh, islands and the monsters and things of that nature. I'm kind of surprised that uh, um, how infrequently we see... Uh, <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? 
I think he laughs when you first enter the uh, Buccaneers Den Harbor, which is what we've done. Albeit roundaboutly. Well, let's see if there's anything in here. Ooh, a gold nugget. I'll take that. Uh, nothing in there. There does not appear to be anything else in here, though. Nope. So, we got a gold nugget. whoop de doo Nothing fantastic. Alright, let's get back on the carpet. Come on, guys. It's ramid. Uh, look, look, are you... Are you scared of heights or something? Come on. Look, now there's... there's. Come on. There we go. About friggin' time you guys got on board. That is... Where are we now? Um, That's Numagencia. Alright. So if we fly this way, did it... Is it daytime now? No, it's 10, uh, 10 p.m. I don't know why it hasn't gone dark. Ah, oh, now, it, now it goes dark. <laughs> Dang it, I shouldn't have opened my mouth. Alright, that's not what I want. Alright, where are you, Drax and Newsome? Don't care about the Fellowship Hall? There we go. We can land here safely if I... We can land here safely if I damn well say we can land safely. There we go. Hello? I don't care if you drive. Get, wake up. Wake up. No, I will not be gone, fool. You are the fool. Wake up. Get up. Thank you. Ah! <laughs> Would you stop going to sleep on me? Get up. Alright, that's not where I wanted you to go, but okay. To be good to see you again, old friend. To be needing Draxon Newsome again so soon? Uh, yeah, where are you uh, gonna... I, I was expecting the ethereal ring to be there. Okay, um... Don't tell me that there's a... Oh, there we go. Alright, I'm curious if there's a... Uh, something that I've missed. Let's see, any of those? <laughs> Leaders? No, okay, give up. To have been many favorite possessions. To be too much trouble to move so much, he sighs. To especially regret selling my ethereal ring. Ah, there we go. Ethereal ring. Ah, to be indeed a lovely treasure. To have been quite useful. A shame to have been, really, to have to sell it. Have had to sell it. To have been one of my favorites. Selling. To have sold most of my treasures when we were, uh, asked, shall we say, to move to the island. To have all happened rather quickly, you see. To have sold most to the Sultan of Spectren. The Sultan of Spectren? To have seemed nice enough for a human. To be a bit mad, he is, even for a human. To tell you he lives on an island just to the west of us. To know at least that my prized possessions would be safe in his hands. Um, safe, you say? He nods his head. To be rumored to have one of the best guarded vaults in all of Britannia. To be supposedly enchanted. To know not de details. Okay. Let's see what he says about Runeb now. To mean in your language, Red Mist. To have been given that name because it is all he leaves behind of an adversary in battle. Unless, of course, that adversary is the Avatar and her companions. Before his conversion by the Fellowship, to have been known as a particularly cruel and dangerous gargoyle. To be gone, dead, now. <laughs> yep, yep. Uh, you you have me to thank for that. No need to uh, no need to reward me. 
you can reward me actually if you want. Um, I think that's about it then in that case. Goodbye, sir. Alrighty. Let's get on board. Where are you guys going? Thank you. Alright, so the Sultan of Spectran is that little island up there. So let's head up there. There we go. I think we need to be kind of careful about this island. Oh, hey! There's some thread there. I will take the swamp boots. I'm not sure if you can actually use the fishing rod or not. I wonder why we're uh, getting danger music. I do not see much over here. There's some. Uh, there's a mermaid topiary, and it looks like a bird topiary. All right, who's Iolo? You're hungry. Just eat your own damn food. Here, have some cheese. And some fish. And how about some sausage? No. I'm turning down my sausage? Okay. Um, anything up here? Now, I thought that... I thought the birds attacked you here at this island. Maybe it's another place. Doggies! Ow! How much damage did I take? Not much. Yet it flashed bright red. Not sure exactly what that means when it flashes bright red like that. Oh, great, this music again. I don't like this music. Um, I do think that we will take a little nap, though. Um, what time is it? 11.27 p.m., okay. Eight hours is enough, I think. go. Anyone hungry? Nope. Not good. Um, hello. You see a nobleman, all alone, with a demented glean in his eye. Who in blazes art thou? The man asks. His attitude is that of someone who is was just interrupted from something terribly important. Oh god, put your pants back on, buddy. I am the Avatar. Of course thou art. Thou art. And I am the evil spirit of Mundane. Come back to wreak havoc all over Britannia. Funny, thou dost not look like an Avatar. Thou dost look like a fool. What can I do for thee, Miss Fool? He turns to his right and speaks to no one. What? Oh, really? Thou dost think this Avatar looks like the real thing? I doubt it, Lucinda. I doubt it very much. He turns back to you and grins. Uh, name. The nobleman looks at you with impatience. I am Martingo, the Sultan of Spectran. Is that all right with thee? He rolls his eyes. He turns to his right side and whispers again to an imaginary person. I believe we have an ignoramus on our hands. Job? I am the Sultan of Spectran. What, is thy brain the size of a pea? Do not answer. Twas a rhetorical question. He turns to his left side and whispers to no one, Dost thou not think her brain is the size of a pea? I do. He giggles conspiratorially with his invisible friend. Martingo then pulls out a banana and begins to peel it. Sultan. Come on, do not insult mine intelligence. Surely thou dost know what a sultan is. Canst thou not see mine harem? No. Martingo looks bewildered. Then thou must have thine eyes examined. I am surrounded by ten. He looks around quickly. No, eleven beautiful women. Each day I enjoy a different one. Thou canst not imagine how much fun being a sultan really is. 
He leans over and kisses an invisible cheek. Today, I am enjoying Lucinda. He grins broadly. Martingo looks you up and down lecherously. Hmm, wouldst thou like to join mine harem? No. Pity. Uh, well, tell me about Spectran. Hold on a second, I gotta... Okay. Tis the island thou dost stand upon. Uh, I need to respond to this, actually. Sorry about that. Tis the island thou dost stand upon. He turns to the invisible person on his left and whimpers, Thou art correct, this person really is a fool. Martiko turns back to you. As I said, I am the Sultan here. I am the master of all these subjects. He gestures around the room. Ayala whispers to you, This fellow is quite daft, be careful. Uh, tell me about Lucinda. She is beautiful, is she not? Martingo leans over and sticks his tongue in an ear that isn't there. Ew. Uh, oh, do I have to ask about the banana? I do have to ask about the banana. Oh, forgive my manners. Wouldst thou like a banana? Uh, no, actually. That's a relief. I only had one left. Um, I need your ethereal ring. Martingo looks suspicious. Art thou wanting to steal mine ethereal ring? He turns to his imaginary friend and whispers, Thou art right, our guests... Our guest looks like a thief. He turns back and s back to you and smiles. Look, would I ask you about it if I wanted to steal it? Yes, I do have an ethereal ring. I purchased it from the king of the gargoyles. What was his name? He leans toward the invisible companion on his right. What? Oh, yes, Draxanusum. I knew it all, all the time. He turns back to you. It is in my vault. Uh, tell me about your vault. Martingo's eyes light up. My vault is the most protected vault in all Britannia. No one, and I repeat, no one can steal anything from my vault. I have many fine treasures there. He turns to Lucinda and bites a non-existent earlobe. Treasures. I collect magical thing items. The vault is full of them, including this ring thou dost mention. Uh, protected? The vault's security is my, se is my secret. Feel free to try and enter it. In fact, I dare thee. If thou canst succeed in getting inside, thou art welcome to take anything. Martingo laughs. All thou dost need is the key. He laughs with his imaginary harem as if they were all laughing with him. I'm sure thou wilt find it. He breaks, he breaks up laughing so hard that tears begin to fall down his cheeks. Bye. Fine, go away. It shall do thee good. Well, there's nothing in there. All right, well, so he's challenged us to find his, uh... Hmm. Well, let's see, there is, uh... Does not appear to be anything obvious in here. Let's see, can we, uh... Get into uh, this room over here. I think I need to get on this side before I try this. Aha! There's some fruit, some cheese. I don't really need any of that right now, so. Uh... Sorry to lock you in there, guys. Alright, let's see what he has over here. So there's that. Oh, there's a, there's a wolf over there. Right, there's a couple rings there. I don't trust going through that uh, that door there. Um, but I think what we will do is save the game, and uh, in the next episode, we will see what we can do. Oh, wait. First of all, before we do that, let's actually open this door. Uh, there's nothing down there. All right, yes. Um, in the next episode, we'll see what we can do about finding this ring that he t speaks of, and uh, perhaps uh, getting into his vault. See you then, everyone.